we can check the files as well s3 ls so this i have a ec2 instance where i am running an application okay and this ec2 instance and this application you know want to access the s3 bucket i know i am not good with diagram don't please don't mind so this application want to access the s3 bucket only s3 bucket focus on this part only s3 bucket now accessing the app application should be access the s3 bucket means the ec2 should be access the s3 bucket think from the higher end okay it means there should be some services which will help which will help or authenticate to connect to help me to connect to the s3 bucket so here comes your iam roles okay so once you will you know attach a iam role to the ec2 instance with policy okay there are two kind of policy one is aws define or some other name will be there or another is custom policy custom aws policy so you can either use this or you can create your own policy okay once you will create the iam role attach the policy and in the policy you will say he can access this particular s3 bucket he would be able to access and that iam role you will attach to the ec2 and once you will attach your ec2 will be able to access your s3 bucket so do you want to see this in real time as well okay no problem let's do that so pro using project 3 what we will we will try to implement the above scenario okay we will not host any application we will just try to access this s3 bucket inside my ec2 instance all right so let's go to aws console then once we are here what we have to do let's create a ec2 instance again I do not have any running server. Click on launch instance. Click on web app. Choose any of the server. I'm choosing Ubuntu. T2 micro is enough for this project. Choose a key. This whole thing already I have shown you. Just choose eight only. Let's hit on launch instance. Once you are here, just click on this instance. Okay. And here let's wait until this is up so you can see this is in availability zone this one and what is the reason for this instance this is uss one hope you are very very clear with this reason and availability zone concept now this is in running state i click click on connect so if you have seen my previous classes you know how we can you know list out all the s3 bucket we can copy the file from a particular s3 if you didn't please go and watch that okay i am highly recommending you again and again to watch that okay guys so how we can using this ec2 x ec2 or aws console how we can you know access our services so for that there should be a command line tool we have already seen that right we have to install AWS CLI. So this is the command line tool which will help you to access your applications. AWS resources, sorry. Let's run this. Make sure you are a pseudo you super user. I'm a super user paste it hit enter okay so unzip command not found let's install that first apt get unzip hyphen y mm, 
I think apt install apt install sorry okay so this is going to install the unzip now once you are here you can run the rerun the command this will unzip the files and then we will install the AWS CLI and once this AWS CLI is installed we will try to access our applications it takes some time So it's installed. Let's run the third command. It will install AWS CLI. All right. So here, once AWS CLI is installed, let's check the version. AWS CLI hyphen hyphen version. AWS CLI command not found. Means if you will run this command, it basically install into the bin folder. it's installed right what does it say is like this AWS s3 ls let's try to hit this command okay okay so uh, uh, don't worry about that but see our AWS command is working correctly so actually I was checking AWS CLI version I should have checked AWS version okay let me go through this document AWS version it is right sorry so now if we are here it will show you unable to locate the credential you can configure credential by running AWS configure so this particular instance is unable to access or list any s3 bucket okay and this is what we have to allow right so for that what how you will do that okay for that what you will do you will go back you will search for IAM click on roles add roles and here for what particular purpose you are creating choose, make sure you are choosing AWS service choose EC2 next click on next and here see this is the permission of the policies guys here you have to choose s3 filter it with s3 so i am going to provide uh, amazon full s3 bucket access for this moment okay these are the permission of aws provides you which are already there and here you have to provide the name of the role i am going to make it test or instead of ops role create role okay so we are going to see something very very powerful now this ec2 install doesn't have access to list the s3 and once we have created the im role let's go to the instances let's choose the particular instance this is the particular instance let's go to action let's go to security let's go to modify im rule now i am going to attach the im rule correct so this is the one which we have created click on update iam rule now you have given the power complete s3 power to this ec2 instance guys okay so see 
if you will do it takes some moment sometime so don't worry and now you will do AWS S3 LS you can see it is showing one bucket is there since so this is the bucket we have saw right we have created this is the way we have we we are able to list out all the files and folder that is present inside my s3 bucket as well so now this ec2 have the access of s3 bucket now correct now when you will try to list something else aws ls ec2 so i think i have given some wrong command list Let's try to list out the EC2 instances. So in complete AWS CLI class, we have already show how we can list out all the instances, right? So when you will use this command, and let's try to uh, check either it is able to access the instances as well or not. So see, so you this EC2 has given the power to access just the things related to S3. It can delete it as well. Okay, that is why complete permission is not a good practice to give okay you should be able to write custom policies that in the coming class i will show you how we can write that as well but focus on this part currently this aws ec2 is able to access this ec2 instances okay so this was the this was all about the third process